<laughs> Good day. Good day indeed. Heathrow? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm back. Back in Britain. I am. But there's a good reason why I'm back. It's lovely. The crisp morning. The beautiful English countryside. It's awesome. The sound of the birds. I miss this place. I do. Might be a bit crisp, a bit cold. But I've been to the Himalayas. <laughs> I am equipped for the Great British. <laughs> What's left? Spring. Sorry, I think we're three or four days into spring. Okay. Right. Now, this vlog is really to inform you about why I'm here and the future of the Vlog and the Dead Horse channel. Um, and my future, literally, I'll tell you everything. But first off, I bought a motor. I have. I have bought a motor. I have. It is needed. I haven't had a car since 2010. So you can probably think with a car like that, the insurance would be right up there where my drone is. So no, I have bought a motor, but no, I've not bought that one. No, no. <laughs> you imagine me riding around in that great big thing. That's some kind of super duper Audi for millionaires. That I am not. So, I have bought a motor. I have. I have. Now, you're probably looking at that and thinking, hey, come on, Sean, you're not 25, are you? That is a low insurance group motor. That car is, that BMW. Have I bought a BMW? Have I fudge? <laughs> so I'll tell you what, I have bought a motor. I have bought a real motor. But you know me, when I go and rent my apartments, I'm not really worried about the furniture or spending all day in accommodation, enjoying the artistic nature of paying a ridiculous amount of money to go to sleep. No, I like a bed, a fridge and internet. That's about it. So when it comes to a car, I don't want all the BS. I don't want to be wasting my money in diesel or petrol or tax or insurance or speeding fines <laughs> or, or anything else. So I have bought a motor. I have, and this little motor here is called Flow. It is. That little Ford Fiesta 2002 has cost me 400 pounds. It is. MOT'd until October and it's not too bad. It did cost me. I've not driven a car since 2010, so I don't have no no claims bonuses at all. I'm just over 50. So with my over 50s plan, I managed to get third party insurance and breakdown cover for just 450 quid, which is pretty cool because I'm going to be using that car for the next four to five weeks making vlogs around East Anglia. Um, I will, and I will tell you in a bit on the route, I'll tell you why I'm actually back in the UK and I'm really pleased to be here because right now, I wouldn't swap my life right in with anybody right now. It's a place where I want to be and I'll tell you those reasons in a minute. And uh, But that car right there, it's going to take me four weeks to register that because that's going on the European tour. Yes. That's, that is what I've bought the car for. I have come back. I've now got to register that. I think it takes four weeks to process that to get my paperwork so I can take that abroad for Europe for three months, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, it's awesome. I like Europe. I love the Mediterranean. I love the temperature. It's not too hot. I won't be putting factor 50 on every day. No. Factor six or four, maybe. Yeah. And the food. The best food in the whole of the world is along that Mediterranean coastline. So I'm looking forward to experience all that. I'm looking forward to the absolute experience of having a real life, going to real countries where, I oh mean, it's going to be awesome, Europe is. It really is. Now, I'm not bigging it up to you. Um, I will say Thailand is what it is, but it's got, it's got it's this negatives and positives. 
for the greater good of each and every personality on the planet of where we want to be, what suits us the most. And Thailand is, it's all right for holiday, but it's too hot. The food ain't very good. Accommodation is it and miss. People, well, Thai people, again, uh, very much hit and miss. Uh, you don't know really where you stand and you're a third rate citizen. All right, you can get your wallet out to pay the old bill, but you know what? I like a bit of continuity. I like, I like, I like to be treated as an equal. I do, um, especially when I'm promoting a country in its good, bad and ugly form. Right, so I'm not going to get off because I've got a destination I need to be. So next time, hang on, I'm going to be in. I'll set any camera up so I've got dash cam. I can film whilst I'm yapping in the car and I'll tell you where I'm off to and what I'm doing in a tick. I just need to lock the house up, turn the internet off. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do, do. Brothers moving. This car, Flow, is equipped with a CD player. I oh, know. <laughs> I have two CDs. Yeah, I do. I do. Look. That's all the eight CDs I own. Two. Both signed. <laughs> From Brothers Moving. Danish. I think they're Danish. Anyway, I like them. They're a cool little band. So here I am. Oh, man. Don't you just love driving on the Norfolk countryside? This is awesome. First time I've done a vlog. Um, so get used to this. This is going to be the format, the future of vlogging a dead horse. Now, vlogging a dead horse channel is going to change. It is. <laughs> it's not going to change a lot. I'm going to make myself work a little bit harder uh, where I'm going to be going. Even in Norfolk, my first little adventure or my vlog for vlogging the dead horse is going to be me off to the Norfolk, North Norfolk coastline. There's some interesting stuff happening there right now, right at the beginning of spring. It's a really good time to be back in Britain. It really is. And what I love about it instantly driving a the car, there's no one else on the road. <laughs> there's a geezer up there about 500 yards and another one behind me 500 yards. I've got no motorbikes squealing up on the inside or on the outside. I've got no one bibbing their own or right up my chuff driving a minivan. No, it's quite pleasant driving. Now, in Norfolk, Norfolk is a cool place. It has been flooded because Norfolk's pretty flat, but the floods are now starting to dry up. Apparently, we have had the warmest and the wettest February on record. So it's good for me because I don't like the cold. Even though we had a little bit of a frost this morning, it's not too bad now. Doesn't take long before that sunrise and clears the cold weather. So it really is, it's proper spring. And so this is the Bumwell to Norwich Road where I'm now off to. Now, the reason I come back is because uh, I've been back in the UK roughly two weeks, I think just over. But a week prior to that, my mother was taken. My mother has dementia. She has been living uh, in her own house with her husband. But over the last three weeks, she's deteriorated quite badly and, and, and had, has had a breakdown. And she's in permanent care, as is my stepdad, John, is also deteriorated uh, in the last few months. So they, they both need permanent caring in a, in a proper dementia home. So... At the moment, my mum and John are recovering. They're getting better. They're starting to smile. I've been in a, a pretty dark, lonely place. But um, So I literally come back just to be with my mum. And there's no place where I'm now off to to go and spend a few hours with her today. Uh, there is nothing better or no place I'd rather be. I'd happily give up my... Well, I have done. <laughs> So I don't have to run on about it, or being or whatever, that life I, I, I have. And I've done it happy for myself. And, and so I'm quite positive now. I've been here two weeks. It has taken me a little bit to get used to the situation. It, it, it's not good, is it, for anybody? But right now, it's, um, it, it's where I want to be. So I will from tomorrow, I believe. I visit my mum every other day. And so my brother goes and visit on the alternative days. That way we're... We're visiting her each day, and um, we, we've got things to sort out, house clearance and that. 
for my home and things like this. So I'm going to be in the UK at least four to five weeks from now. I am going to be, like I say, it's going to take a month, I believe, to register this car to take it into Europe. I don't have European cover or insurance, but that is something I'm pretty sure I can add uh, to my insurance as and when. I do have some car boots to do. I've got pretty, I've got some lumber. Uh, I, I've got some things that I'm going to be doing. And so today, the first thing I'm off to, uh, is, which of course is why I bought the car, because where it's been so wet and cold, it'd be a nightmare doing this journey on the Lambretta every day. I don't mind every now and then, but that's why I had to buy a motor really. And uh, so I'm making it work for me. I can go and see people I haven't seen. And I've, again, I can use it to make the vlogs that I want to make, which I, I didn't or couldn't last time I was here. So it's just too cold uh, to get on that Lambretta and go and do 30, 40 miles to the coastline, do a vlog and come back. <sighs> that, that's, that's too much like hard work, far too much. So it's good, the car behind me has closed in, but as you can see, it's not right up my chuff, boy. It's not forcing me to drive quicker, that's really cool. Because I'll say this road, and me and this car, we just drive 30, 40, 50 mile an hour. That's about it. Obviously when I get on the motorway, we'll be having a burn up, but right now that takes 40 quid to fill the car up with petrol, and it does good mileage, so it's pretty good. Happy. Brack and Ash are now coming into 30 mile an hour limit. If you ever come through this village, there's a load of villagers here with their own speed gun. Yes, there is. And this, the, mark me, right? They're usually down there on the right when they come out. They do, and it's the villagers. They've got their own speed gun. They wear their fluorescent jackets. They're usually down there on the right, right? And, uh, and, uh, and if they catch you on the gun, they send the information. They're usually here on these greens. I don't know if you'll see them. Uh, Norman's Way, uh, right there, right? And they'll, they'll, they'll hide up beyond these bushes, they'll come out, because a few people do speed through here, but you'd be daft to, because it's a really bumpy patchwork road. So you, you need to be driving 30, 40, 50. Um, you do, otherwise you could, you could mess your suspension up a bit. But, so they do, they're just normal people, and they do do, they send the information off to the old bill, and you will be getting a letter now that if you if you consist, they they actually take that as evidence and will will arrest you uh, and get your points for speed. Just what I tell you there, right? So I'm now coming in, I believe, to Mel Barton. I am. And I'll shortly be in Norwich, where I will continue my vlog after I've seen me mum. Uh, now this car flow does need a clean. Whether or not I make a vlog about cleaning the car today, I want to go to one of them um, car cleaning places and have that experience of, of what a car owner would do every now and then. You don't clean your car yourself, you take it to where there'll be a load of either Polish or Indian, whatever, foreign people ready to come and earn some money. Now, when I read my comments on, on coming back to Heathrow, well, oh, you, you lot, you, they, I'd say 50% if you're really racist. And there's, mate, you don't have to point it out. I thought you were in India. I thought you were in South Korea. I thought you were there based on, oh, I didn't see no English people in England. Well, let me tell you something, people. If it wasn't for all those people coming to England, to Great Britain, to work, right, in all those jobs the English don't want to do, can you imagine what a muddle the country would be in if you didn't have people from India working in them low paid jobs, right? Or, or serving you at the petrol station or being on your till to Aldi's. Imagine what a mess. Well, the country is becoming in a mess because now if you're a foreign citizen and want to come to the UK and work, you need to guarantee that you can bring an income of 30,000 pounds a year. So what that's basically done, that's got rid of all the cheap labor all the Eastern European people who used to come to England to work during the summer to pick all our fruit and veg and whatever. No longer. No, no, no. Um, that's why everything is another reason why things are getting expensive, guys, you know. I don't think when that big vote of Brexit come up, I don't think you would probably explain of what will happen to the country. I think you all got 
you, 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 you all got lied to and followed that merry on horse. Um, oh man, I think the whole country got stitched up by politicians. It just proved how the little people actually know and the vote and whatever. So that's what I mean. I never took part in the place, never voted, never registered, never will. Uh, it, it'll never suit the common person, uh, any of it ever will. Um, and like I say, people are so dishonest, you don't actually know what you're voting for. You don't actually see what you're going to get until you get it. Ah, that is the reason why I sold up in lockdown and started a new career, because I saw all this coming. I predicted it. I saw it. Right, now, before I run on, <laughs> I need to go and see my mum. That'll, that'll probably take a bit of the stride out of me. Strut out of me stride. All righty. All right, man. Whew. All good intentions before I go and see me mum. And then um, when I leave the nursing home, the care home, it's, I just, it just numbs me up. It, it just takes away my will to live or, or do anything. It do, I, I come away from that nursing home feeling poor, totally. Um, and I can't even remember what I had planned before I went. So I'm now, I'm, I think that's it guys, I'm now driving home. One thing I'll point out on my left hand right here, which is why I choose to put the camera on right, right now, Hitachi, right there on my left, are building a seven billion power, electricity power station to go from Norwich all the way to Tiptree. I think that's where, Tilbury. Tilbury, not Tiptree, Tilbury. There's a few protest banners up about because in this wonderful world of renewable energy, when they're gonna be putting in great big double-sized power cables right across this beautiful countryside. Um, now I was thinking about making a vlog about it, but I don't wanna bore myself, let alone upset all my subscribers. Oh man. Oh, so that's where I'm at. I am going to be making vlogs. Tomorrow I'm off to Wales, the North Norfolk coast. Uh, all good intentions intention spent. I'm not, I'm not seeing my mum tomorrow, so I'm off to go and make my first vlog and a dead horse vlog um, for quite some time, since I was on the aeroplane. Um, like I say, I've had two weeks where I haven't made vlogs. I've just been waiting for my vlogs to catch up because I do get a little bit ahead. And it's just as well that I do, because it obviously gives me the time and space that I need if um, uh, if something pops up that's not, not brilliant. So that's where I am. But I will be concentrating this year through Europe to get all, all seven of my YouTube channels monetized. And I, I believe going through Europe uh, is gonna have the strong potential for me to do that. I did start a food channel, didn't I? World's best food channel. Wow, it's got potential, right? But obviously if you're in Asia, world's best food channel with the world's crappiest food. Because, come on guys, let's face it. Let's face it, the best thing I've had to eat in Asia has been an Australian meat pie, tinnies. So that's the best bit of food I've had in the whole of Asia, all of it. India. Uh, was an exception it's a country that is an exception on its own India it's like Africa is it's Africa and India is India but Asia the food uh, ain't too good is it it really isn't so where I now got the scope of going France Italy Greece and then other countries we really are we really 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 are gonna have the best food channel worldwide because uh, I'm going to the best I'm going to the countries that produce the best food. All those villagers with all their traditional uh, little dishes, the Mills Marinere, all the things, the sausages, the, the French sausages, the Italian sausages, each to their own region. Um, um, I mean, that's perked me up. Always talking about or thinking about food will perk you up. It's perked me up a bit. I have now gone and bought, what have I bought? Because it, it's, it's kind of cup of tea time. So I have been to Roy's. I do have my raspberry and white chocolate muffins. I have. 
Oh man, now we need two quid for four. That costs you two quid for each in Thailand. It would. Imported food, which isn't up to the same standard, is four times the money. Man. So that's me, guys. I'm now heading back home. That's been my day today. I don't want to do nothing else. That's literally woof, wiped me out. That really has. That's destroyed my energy. I've got a few things to do at the house, but that literally is me. I'll probably get this vlog up today. I don't know what the date is. I don't. 3rd, 4th of March, but today is Monday. So if you're watching this on the 1st Monday of March, today, and you'll know what the date is. I don't know what the date is. Don't. Can't see it on my phone. All right, guys, so that's it. It's just a little catch up, letting you know where I am, what I'm doing, and what I've got planned for the channels uh, for the next four or five months, really. Just so you know. So I will be vlogging the dead horse, should be back up and running tomorrow. It should. With award winning fish and chips. That's going to be my first vlog that I'm going to make there. Right. So guys, appreciate all your support. Thanks for staying right to the end. Man, this is good doing this when I'm driving. Obviously I can't be drinking, can I? And I certainly won't be smoking. You can't drink or smoke in this country because if you get pulled over by the old bill, nowadays all they do, they just test you for drink and drugs. And if it's in your bloodstream, that's you. You're banned and you're, you're nicked. So I cannot have a proper happy ending and cheersing you all whilst one is driving. Now, now it's a bit of a predicament because that stuff stays in your bloodstream for quite some time. So I just hope I don't get a pull. All right, guys, until next time, au revoir.